the latest and greatest in filament dehydrators. Today, I'll share my thoughts and give you my full review on FixDry's latest filament dehydrator, the NT1. It's all in today's video and it's coming up next. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad. I want to thank you for popping in today and taking a look at today's video. If it is your first time swinging by the channel and you're looking for a very resourceful channel geared towards 3D printing, DIY, how-to tutorials, and product reviews just like this one, make sure you click that subscribe button, come back and see me. So today we're gonna to be checking out the latest filament dehydrator from FixDry. It is the NT1. So if you've never heard of FixDry, they are an awesome company that specializes in different types of filament dehydrators for 3D printing. I am no stranger to working with FixDry as one of my previous videos, I tried and reviewed the NT1. And this model here is also the NT1, but this is the upgraded version. This is the digital version that has the dual capacity to hold more filament and give you even better results. As many of you know, I am a big, big fan of using filament dehydrators. They work absolutely awesome and help pulling all that moisture out of your filament, which in doing so is gonna result in an awesome quality print and help reduce wear and tear on your printer, which is gonna save you time and frustration. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video as I give you my full thoughts and recap on the NT1. But before we do anything else, let's get this guy unboxed, set up, and see just how great it works. Let's go. All right, so just a quick setup and overview here of the FixDry NT1 dual film dehydrator. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and unpack your unit and locate the accessory pack. It contains the user manual, some PTFE tube, and a fan threshold. Simply line the fan threshold up with the four holes in the base of the unit. It'll click right into place. It should look like this once installed, and what this will do is adequately distribute that warm air across the front and the back of the filament, dehydrating it properly. Next, you can load your preferred filament in the dehydrator and go ahead and get your PTFE tube and we'll install that so it protects the filament if you wanna use the dehydrator while you're printing. It's always important to load your filament properly. I've always found that it's better to have the filament going over the top versus under the bottom. That way, all of the weight is on the top and when the filament is being pulled through the dehydrator and the PTFE tube, it's rolling with the least amount of resistance and you won't have any snags or any hiccups while you're using the dehydrator and printing at the same time. Next, just pop the top on, run the filament through any outlet hole you'd like and make sure to install the PTFE tube to protect the filament while you're printing. This dehydrator gives you lots of options. There's six outlets on the top, two in the front, and also two in the back. So any setup that you have using this dehydrator while printing, it'll give you plenty of options to do so. Then you can go ahead and plug your machine in and power it up by pressing the power button. Once on, the unit will display current temperature, the level of humidity, and the duration the dehydrator is set to run at. To change this, simply push the button on the lower left. You can change any option by hitting plus or minus, plus to turn it up, minus to turn it down. To adjust these settings, push the button in the front on the lower left. Pushing it once will adjust the temperature. Pushing it a second time will adjust the duration. So here by pushing it once and hitting the plus sign, we're gonna turn the temperature up or turn it down if we so choose. Pushing it a second time, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the duration of how long we want the dehydrator to run for. As you can see here, we're bumping it down to about four hours because we're using PLA. The supply menu gives you an overview of what temperature and duration you should be running at based on your material to give you the best results possible. So once you have everything set to the proper temperature and duration, you will notice that the temperature will start to increase. The humidity should go down as the temperature goes up. Here you can see after an hour, the unit is now heated up to the proper temperature. It's also cut that humidity level in the chamber in half. By keeping a nice dry, warm chamber, it's gonna help keep any humidity from getting in and any moisture that might be in the filament, it's gonna pull it out. So there's a look at the FixDry NT1 dual filament dehydrator, an efficient, easy to use, and super affordable filament dehydrator that's gonna give you a great bang for your buck. Now that we've gone over all that, let me give you my final thoughts on this video and wrap things up. All right, everyone, well, there you have it. There is a look at the FixDry NT1 dual filament dehydrator. Uh, definitely a little bit of an upgrade uh, from the last one I reviewed, a lot bigger. You can clearly see that you can hold two rolls and you can even hold one bigger roll, something around 2 kg or potentially larger. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of posts where people are saying, hey, what kind of dehydrator can, can I get that will actually hold, you know, a, a big single roll of 2 kg or bigger? This one will definitely do it. Also, the digital display uh, is a big upgrade. Very, very nice that you can easily just hit those settings. A little bit nicer and more aesthetically pleasing than using a dial. One thing I actually noticed too is plugging this in, it actually kept a memory. Uh, I had two rolls of filament in there from the video and I let them uh, dehydrate for a little bit. Plugged it in, the timer actually stayed the same. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, if you follow the manual and everything that comes with the dehydrator, 
Very easy to get everything set up. Shows all your vitals, I guess, in a sense right there. Uh, humidity, time, temperature, everything you need to properly get your filament dehydrated properly and give you great results when you print. Another big bonus with this dehydrator is the fan. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Hopefully you can't because it's very quiet. I know I've tried some other filament dehydrators from other companies and the fans are crazy loud and, and they're a lot smaller. You know, this is something that's obviously bigger. The fan is still working very efficiently. It's keeping it nice and quiet. So even if you're doing this in an office or you're on a phone call or maybe in your bedroom, that nice quiet fan won't keep you up at night. I wanna take this time to thank FixDry for allowing me to test and review their NT1 filament dehydrator. FixDry has an awesome lineup of all kinds of different 3D printing accessories. So make sure to hit them up on social media, check out their website, see what they have to offer. And don't forget to tell them DW sent you. If you're interested in purchasing this FixDry NT1 dual filament dehydrator or the NT1 that I previously offered, I left the link in the description for the NT1 video. I also left my affiliate link in the description. So if you wanna go ahead and click that link, pick up one of these, you get a little bit of kickback and trust me guys, every little bit helps. So if you're looking for a great filament dehydrator, it's gonna help you with your printing, reduce wear and tear in your printer, save you time and frustration. Go ahead and pick up one of these. And of course, let me know how you made out. And lastly, I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by and checking out today's video. If you liked it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have a fixed drive filament dehydrator, please go ahead and drop me a comment in the comment section. Or like I said, if you pick one of these up, drop me a comment and let me know. Last but not least, if you do enjoy all things 3D printing, cosplay, Funko Pops, Marvel, DIY, product reviews, everything that we're doing on the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I have a lot more videos like this, along with some of my 3D printing builds, tips, tutorials, and more. So if you like any of that stuff, click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, come back and see me. Well, that's pretty much a wrap on the NT1, guys. I wanna thank you once again for stopping by. Again, don't forget to check out FixDry. Make sure to hit them up on all their social media accounts. Check out their website, see exactly what they have to offer. And of course, don't forget to let me know what you think of this video and come back and see me. Until the next time, it's DW out. Later. Uh